and we're set up. These are some awesome little RGB lights and I wanted to show you guys how you can utilize them in your gaming and streaming setup. Sorry about all the echo right now because we are in a shed that's going to be reworked into an entire new gaming and streaming content creation studio. Stay tuned for the video on that. Get subscribed. Usage point number one, accent lighting. Accent lighting can make a dull space, blank walls like this, look very interesting. Right behind me, we have one of the lights. This one of these lights right here is actually behind me pointing at the wall just like that. And as you can see, these blank white walls get a lot more color when you just point a little light at them. The fact that you can just put them anywhere, mount them anywhere, put them on the ground, point it up the wall, makes them really versatile. And uh, considering the fact that they can also be used while plugged in, like any other standard lights, is really awesome. They're also portable because they have a battery in them. And so if you wanted to move the lights somewhere else just temporarily for anything, you can do that. Point number two, you can use these as sort of a main light, whether it's a streaming setup or like an on-camera vlogging light. It does come with a little cold shoe adapter for you to mount it directly onto your camera. But in terms of streaming stuff, you could just set it up, point it at yourself, make it white or the color that you want it to be. And here it is working by itself with the light behind me as well up on the wall, working as a, a type of fill light or main light. And it gets the job done pretty well. Point number three. <laughs> Uh, the awesome thing about these lights, firstly, is that they're pretty cheap at under $30 each. And then they're just, like I said before, incredibly versatile. We're not just talking camera gear and streaming gear here. A light like this, you can throw in the car, you could take with you if you go camping, you can do anything like that. And use this as a light that you can even you know, wirelessly control or whatever, but use it anywhere you go. Not just for content production, this just works as a good general purpose light, just as good as anything. Hey, real quick, if you like this video or are getting any useful information out of it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It'll really help us out. Also, I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash coalition gaming crew. So if you wanna talk more about this stuff, stop by. So one downside to this is that it's only controllable via the app on the iPhone or Android. There's no other buttons other than the power button on this thing, so. That is kind of a downside. However, the app is really powerful. You can do a whole lot of stuff. You got all sorts of special effects, like here's fire truck, for example, or if you want to do have like a little flame effect, there's a bunch of effects on it. You can control the brightness, the saturation, the color completely, all the RGB colors. And uh, so it does make it pretty useful because the app is so powerful, but it's still definitely a downside that you can't control any of that with buttons on the device itself because, you know, what if your phone's not available or something, or dead. But another strong advantage of the app usage with this is that if you have multiple of these lights, like I do here, you can sync them and then whatever colors, whatever effects that you do will go across all the lights that are synced through the app, just like you're seeing here. Now, we light and these little lights like this from them, they aren't the only player in the game. We have this one from LoomCube as well, which is basically double the cost and around double the weight from what I can feel on it. But it is a brighter light. It is an RGB though, so all you get is this color light. It is bicolor, I think you get a warmer color and a white color. Whereas this guy, obviously it's RGB and all that, maybe not as bright, but it has all the color changing capability. In terms of brightness though, like I said, the Loom Cube does have an advantage if you just look at it on me like that versus that, you can kind of see the difference. So if you need all out brightness, then maybe this isn't the one for you. Maybe go with the more expensive option. But if you want maximum versatility, decent brightness and all that, um, these guys at 30 bucks is pretty hard to beat. If you like lighting or stream setups or anything like that, click right here, check out this video.